Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video in our series on BIOSes and this is the Phoenix BIOS in my Toshiba computer and we're on the uh, exit of the BIOS and uh, what it all means. So, what do you do when you exit a BIOS? First of all, if you went into your BIOS and you don't want to change anything then the safest thing you can do is select exit discarding changes that means that you're going to exit your BIOS and it's going to stay the same that it was when you entered the BIOS that's the safest way to go into the BIOS and know that when you're going to boot up your computer everything is going to still be the same it means that you didn't change anything and if you did change something and you're not sure this is the best way of taking getting out of it because it means that all the changes you've done are not going to stay there so exit discarding changes is the panic mode of the BIOS you don't want to change what you changed or you're afraid that you may have changed something and you don't want to change whatever value just choose exit discarding changes and you know that nothing is changed you change something and you want the computer to know about it then you'll have exit saving changes exit saving changes is all the modification that you've done in your computer's BIOS are going to be written back in the BIOS and next time you boot your computer those new changes those new options will be available and will be there so if you know what you're doing and you change a few options and want to keep those changes you exit saving changes S load setup default what's that load setup default is a good feature for troubleshooting first um, sometimes you've done modifications or sometimes the computer just doesn't boot up because something's wrong with the BIOS settings loading the setup defaults means that it's gonna revert to the basic settings that the manufacturer put in the computer's BIOS it usually is a very safe way of booting because it usually puts everything in a non-problematic mode and usually a computer still starts up but it just has <coughs> the different options enabled like the day the BIOS was made at uh, the manufacturer uh, so it's a nice option if something is wrong and it's due to the BIOS that might fix it actually if you've changed an option and you don't remember which one and everything's going to hell you can load setup defaults and usually uh, it's gonna revert to the uh, good options and your computer should boot up um, one word of caution why you might not want to s load setup defaults sometimes we do put very specific settings in the BIOS because of hardware changes so sometimes loading the setup defaults won't prevent you from booting but it might actually do some strange things because your computer is not acting like it should because it does not see some of the changes that you need to apply for it to work well so um, you, you know it's really in a last uh, a last way of doing things if really your computer doesn't work well and um, finally one reason why uh, loading the setup defaults is there is because uh, BIOS can get corrupted sometimes and some settings are not right and so by loading the default you know that you're replacing all the values that might have changed and that are not intentional they are more because the computer's hardware has a problem something went wrong uh, sometimes we have a power surge on your computer your BIOS might get mixed up and loading the defaults will uh, fix that and lastly if you've done some modifications and 
are not sure you did it right, you can discard the changes. What it does is that it changes everything back to how it was and you can go back and change again the options to make sure you change the good ones. And the save setting, same changes at the last is, well, everything's there, you know it's right or you, sh you think it's right, save changes and um, you know that those options you can um, go back. The discard and the save changes have one uh, little feature that's interesting is that they say, for example, the save changes will save everything that you've modified, but you're not exiting the uh, BIOS. You still have a chance to go back into the main and advanced and security and others or boot and check again a second time if everything you've done is right before you exit. The same thing with the discard changes. Sometimes because you made changes, but then you got mixed up and you're not sure these are right. So you can discard changes. It does not exit from the BIOS, but everything comes back to how it was before you entered the BIOS. So uh, these are all the exit options available on most computers BIOS. So this ends the series of the Phoenix BIOS on Toshiba. Uh, we'll have other BIOSes. Uh, we'll have a Dell BIOS uh, checkup. We'll have probably an Award BIOS checkup. Wow, Award is another very popular BIOS uh, in computers. And uh, we'll also have a feature on Windows BIOSes that are not modifiable through the BIOS themselves, but through a utility, setup utility in Windows, which is really popular. More and more computers uh, don't have BIOS access in the computer it's the, itself with the F keys at the startup. They now have only the main options accessible from a BIOS utility in Windows. So if you enjoyed these uh, videos on a series of BIOS, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of new videos online. And if you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a, something you want to say about all these videos, click and uh, you know leave those comments. And of course, um, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.